Respiratory therapist Habtamo Kahali has been training colleagues from Addis Ababa hospitals how to use ventilators. Before, uh, maybe uh, it's only doctors who are using you know, or working in the intensive care unit that uh, they were familiar with these patients. But now uh, we need everyone like uh, has professionals working in hospital to utilize uh, the machine that they get. They may want or they may need to go to uh, you know a setup where they you know where they have never been before and uh, need to require need to you know uh, operate those machines. So because the fact that these uh, machines have got the basic principles. You know, uh, they don't have to be shy, they just have to read the manuals and start using those machines. According to the World Health Organization, one in six people who contract coronavirus can become seriously ill. To those patients who do become seriously ill, ventilators can be vital. This hospital plans to train at least 100 medical practitioners for free with the hope that they will also go and pass on the information to others. These doctors are also discussing complications that may arise in COVID-19 patients based on experience from other countries. At the end of this training, we're going to have a platform like a social media group. So uh, we're going to ask each of the trainees to go back to their hospital and see what uh, machines, what modern machines that they have. And uh, if they have any uh, issues, we'll try to go in person or on site and assist them to start operating those machines. In Ethiopia, only government-owned hospitals are allowed to attend to COVID-19 patients. But some private hospitals like this one, which has at least six intensive care beds, say they will assist if permitted. We are also uh, teaching the, the, the patient, our patients how to prevent themselves, and we are teaching them also how, how serious this illness is and how they prevent their, themselves and their families. So we are partly teaching and we are ready or any complication. If the government allows the private sector to be involved in any instance uh, the, as a private sector, we are ready. Ethiopia currently has 435 ventilators. That is far from its target of at least 1,500. Importers of medical supplies in the country say there is a shortage of ventilators globally. The cost of some ventilators has also jumped as much as sixfold due to the high demand. As government grapples with supply, some citizens like Addis Alemayo are trying to help attract donations of these vital machines through social media. Well, you know, uh, it, it came about from sitting around with a, with a couple of friends, this was before the shutdown, uh, and talking about what, what needs to happen and, and realizing that uh, the news that came out that China had shut down its three major hospitals that is built in, in a week. And so I started, I personally started a, a campaign with a couple of friends of mine to actually highlight the fact that if those hospitals are closed, maybe Ethiopia deserves one of those hospitals uh, here in the country. Since we've never stopped flying to China, we've only supported China throughout the campaign. It is an optimistic call, but Addis hopes it is one that can help Ethiopia tackle the virus and ensure businesses also survive the outbreak. Koleta Anjohi, SBC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.